There is nobody who will look at a knife and be more critical of it than the person whose name is on it. There's no employee, I don't care how much you pay them, nobody will ever look as hard at quality as the people whose names are on the knife. And we are not so far removed from the business that we're not a real big part of that. And I think that translates into value on the knife. We want to make a knife that lasts you for your life and for that of someone you leave the knife to. And uh, I want your knife that you buy from us, from me, that I designed, that I held in my hands. I want it to go through your hands to someone you love when you're done with it. Know that that quality goes with it that whole time. It's not a temporary thing. As temporary as we all are, the knives are not temporary. They'll be here a long time. One of the, I think one of the biggest challenges new people have with knives, new to the high-end American-made knife scene, is the money. They're expensive. They cost a lot of money. And the reason so much of the cutlery industry has been kind of routed by modern ways of doing business is because it is a labor-intensive product. And you have to connect the hidden costs with the intrinsic costs when you start looking at the value of a knife. And then for many people, their knife is an extension of them. It's an extension of their personality or it's an extension of their personal style or kind of ethos, their view on the world. And all of that personality and individuality and uniqueness and quality um, starts to add up to the cost versus value. So when people are used to the regular world and they get into the knife thing a little bit, if you haven't done that sort of uh, lifestyle purchase, you might not get it yet. But you get at some point in your life where you, you buy a lifestyle thing and all of a sudden you go, I get it. That's what it's about. <laughs>